Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I am going to show you my top 5 and most advanced 3 on 3 basketball plays. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training, if you're new to this channel well, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. But today I am going to show you my top 5 most advanced 3-on-3 three -three basketball plays that you can use in your next basketball game. So, let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these out. So in this first basketball play, we're going to set these two guys up on that side of the court. They could be on this side of the court as well. And next, what's going to happen is player 2 is going to set a screen for player 3. Player 3 is going to then use that screen and set a screen on player 1. Player 1 is going to use that screen. Now player 2 is going to be rolling towards the basket. He may be open for a layup. Player 3 can either roll towards the basket and could be open for a layup. Or he could, instead of rolling towards the basket, he could screen and pop. And maybe open for a 3-point shot. Or player one could take the three-point shot himself, or he could drive towards the rim and go in for a layup too. Now, no matter what, player two is going to continue through out to the opposite side of the court. And if so, if player one does drive towards the basket and player two's defender plays help defense, player two may be open for that pass for the three-point shot. Now, in our second three-on-three -three basketball play, we're gonna have player one pass over to player three. Player one is then going to get into the, what's called the triangle formation because, well, it's part of the triangle offense. So you could also use this to teach your team the triangle offense. Next, player three, he could pass to player one for the shot or player three will then dribble over to this side of the court and player one is going to use two as a screen. He could be open in the post for a quick layup, or he could continue through for that three-point shot. Now, if he is open, he could get the ball, and after player two finishes that screen, he can then go up and back screen for player three, who could use that screen and cut towards the rim for an open layup as well. Now, in our next basketball play, in our third one, we want player one to dribble to this side and we want player three to be posting up. After he posts up, he's going to receive the ball. He could obviously score. That is an option. However, what we're going to have now is player two screening for player one, who is then going to then cut towards the rim and he may be open for a layup. Now, if that's not an option, player two could be popping out for a three-point shot as well. Or what could happen is player one could curl around he can after he finishes cutting towards the rim he can cut through and out using player three as either a dribble handoff or as a screen and he may be open for that three-point shot as well now when he receives that ball player three can then go and screen for player two and that may be an open layup too now in our fourth three on three basketball play, we're gonna set up a sandwich screen. This way, player one can either dribble to the left or right side, depending on which way he is. You're looking at this court really, but um, he could dribble to one side or the other. And from there, let's say as an example, he takes player three as a screen. Player one could obviously drive towards the rim for the layup. And then player two will set a screen for player three who will then cut towards the rim, and he may be open for a layup as well. That one's a little bit more on the easier side, however, still a little bit more advanced. Now, in our fifth and final three-on-three -three basketball play, these two players could be set up on either side of the court, and what's going to happen first is player three is going to set a screen down for player two, who is going to use that screen, and player two is going to receive the pass. At this time, player one is going to cut through and back screen for player three, who's going to cut towards the rim and he may be open for a three-point shot. If he's not, he's going to continue through and out. He could either be at the free throw line extended or at that baseline corner. And at this time, we're going to have player one screening for player two. This is going to be a screen and roll so that if player three was down in this corner, player one could be open for the layup, player two could be open for the shot, or this could be a hammer pass out to player three 
and player three may be open for that three point shot or player three could be cutting back door depending on where his defender is be uh, is standing and he may be open along the baseline for that layup as well. Now, I hope that these five basketball plays will benefit your basketball team. If they do, leave a comment below. Let us know how they work for you. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed today's basketball play video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow because I post new videos every single day. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so here I am on the set with hockey coach Ethan. This is my cousin. So so basically they're starting a brand new channel for hockey coaches and players or for anybody who just likes hockey in general so uh, this is this is my cousin do you have anything yes, to say I am. um you know it's a brand new channel and I'm gonna be sharing my knowledge of the game and uh, if you like hockey hit subscribe I'm going to teach you some stuff that I know and I've been playing hockey like my whole life so yeah anyways I hope you guys have enjoyed I'll see you guys again tomorrow thank you Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe, or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also, the opposite direction, or the opposite side, is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.